Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. Thank you for watching. You know, the Chinese are not stupid. They are preparing luxurious communities to host America's brightest entrepreneurs, business managers, and industry leaders, and all their families and workers. They're gonna let them do their work tax-free and without heavy-handed government regulations. Why are they doing this? Because anyone with a brain knows that it'll work like a charm to lure these incredibly prosperous miracle companies and everyone in China will benefit. The Asians want our technological miracles to be invented and manufactured in their nations because that will spring them, springboard them far ahead of all other nations. It'll improve the quality of life for all of their citizens, improve their national security and make the United States look like a ship of fools. Yes, if our government continues on its present course, we will soon be the formerly great United States, a superpower that drove itself right into the dirt. Now this is a brilliant move by the Chinese. They see what Obama's policies are doing to the U.S. economy, and history shows that heavy-handed government regulations always cause an exodus of the best and the brightest. American businesses are already moving overseas to escape crushing taxes. Unemployment is skyrocketing and poverty is spreading like a plague all across our nation. And everything Obama does only makes it worse. Now the liberals label these entrepreneurs and industry leaders as the rich and attack them relentlessly, trying to force them to pay more and more and more. The liberal left will never be able to beat enough money out of American businesses to satisfy their lust. I really don't blame American businesses for packing up and leaving the U.S. in disgust, especially if Mr. Obama gets another four years. Now why is it that our elected officials cannot see what the Asians see? Is it because they are so fixated on the entitlement mentality that they don't care that they're bankrupting their own nation? Who is going to pay for all the welfare schemes of Congress if there are no businesses left? Now personally, I think the majority of Congress doesn't care if America remains a superpower. They're getting theirs, and that's all that matters. The break from accountability and the Ten Commandments is complete. Thou shalt not steal means nothing to people who have rejected their godly heritage. Now there's only one way to stop the Chinese from accomplishing this, and that is to just flat beat them to it. Our government has a duty to provide an atmosphere that helps businesses succeed rather than strangling them. We need to pull the fangs of government out of the necks of successful businesses and let them do what they do best. We American citizens need to fight to protect our successful businesses, our entrepreneurs, and our industries so that America will remain strong and freedom will not disappear under a cloud of poverty caused by heavy-handed liberal government. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching and God bless America again.